Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, when I was on the science site earlier, I noticed one of the vans they used to deliver sandwiches. On the side it said, yum, food for thought. Um, it's a witty slogan, but for me, yum doesn't provide food for thought in quite the way that the marketing team would like. As the problems with the meal ticket system have shown, the university-run yum cafes should have been far better planned to cater for our needs. A criticism that cannot be made of yum, but also of many other things the university attempts to provide. Getting better and a more efficient services from the university is vitally important. This is why I believe there should be greater clarity in university decision making. We need to be able to closely monitor and openly question what the university does. I know from my own experiences in running a college common room and chairing uh, at the MCR Prescom, then important issues to us often disappear into the ether of university committees, which then fail to base the decisions, when eventually they're made, on the feedback provided by students. Quite simply, this isn't good enough, and it's about time we got the university to justify its actions to us. I want to see the university outline clear aims arising consulta from consultation with students. I want them to have performance-related criteria whenever a pro project or development is undertaken so that it can then plainly be seen what the university is trying to achieve. I want it to be obvious, both during the project and afterwards, whether future, whether future university developers meet their targets for us. Those standards and actions need to apply across the board, however. It's also important that DSU further clarifies its own decision-making and the subsequent actions it takes. In order to achieve this, I want to see the GSU website made far more easier to use. I want the information on there far clearer for us. This will make transparency, i.e. seeing what the GSU is up to, much more straightforward. In addition, I also want to see the DSU and its, sabbat and its sabbatical officers get more involved with colleges. Get out of the DSU building more and attend common room meetings and social events like formals far more often. And this way you can meet students on a much more regular basis and find out exactly what they're thinking. By being involved in this way, the SAB team would be much better placed to help defend colleges' independence and freedoms with the DSU underpinning and supporting the role of college common rooms. I've always been of the opinion that getting out to colleges and meeting students is one of the best ways to find out how you can work for them. I've always loved being part of Durham, its colleges and its university life, particularly in the various exec capacities that I've had. This is one of the reasons that I love Durham, its distinctive colleges and its unique way of being. This is why I think you should vote for me. I have the ideas and experience to make sure Durham retains an independent college system. I believe that it is the role of the DSU and university to work for, rather than dictate to, students. The DSU should campaign to make sure that everyone gets the most of their time at Durham by ensuring both the university and outside institutions such as the, uh, such as the NUS respect this principle. Thank you. <laughs>